Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and today we are going to see about the parameter that is on the pipeline level and that will be the dynamic pipeline parameters. So in the last two videos, we have seen about the dynamic linkage service and we will be having seen about the dynamic data set. So if you haven't watched last two videos of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward because today's video is totally dependent on the previous two videos. So for the better understanding, you should watch that two videos. So let me quickly recap what we have discussed in the dynamic linkage service video. So we have discussed about the parameter there and we are having a source that is the blob storage and on that blob storage, we are required to load the data into the these three environments that is the SQL dev, SQL UAT and the SQL prod. The source that is same but by using a single linkage service, a single data set and a single pipeline, we are required to load the data in these three environments and at the runtime, we will be going to pass the values for these three environments and in the SQL side, we have these three databases in the real time, you will be having three different server, but here for the practice purpose, I am created these three databases like the dev, prod and UAT and it is having only one table that is the employee table with empty rows and in the source side, if we can go and check, so our source is the blob storage under the SSU testing under the SSU container. And it, here we can see this file that is the employee.txt and it is having these many rows. So we just want to load the data which is available in this txt file into the dev environment, prod environment and UAT environment. So now go to on the portal. And here first let me quickly recap about the dynamic linked service that we had created. So here we can see this link service. So in the link service we are having four parameter the first parameter the server name then the database name then the username then the password so we are having these four if we can test the connection so all values are there so let me click on ok so connection should succeed as you can see so let me cancel go to on the author tab let me quickly recap about the data set so this is the dynamic data set that we had created and here the data the table name is dynamic so this table name should be coming from the parameter and this is the table name parameter so everything we have discussed and set up in the detail in last two videos so in this video let me try to create a new pipeline and under this pipeline i just want to load the data from the blob storage to the azure sql so let me call this as dynamic load now here we are required to use the copy data activity in the copy data activity go to the source site and let me click on new here let me search for the blob storage click on continue here click on continue let me call this as data set for the blob storage for the emp in the linkage service, here we had already created this linkage service, but I am going to create a new one. So let me click on new. And here, let me call this as link service for blob storage. Scroll down. Let me select the subscription storage account that is SSU testing. We have already seen that. Then click on create. So it will be creating a new link service. Then under the data set from which folder we want to get the file. So from SSU and the file name is employee.txt. So click on OK and again click on OK. So the source side we have done. Now in the destination side we need to more focus. So click on sync. So first it is asking for data set. So we had already created the data set. So if you have remember like dynamic data set for the Azure SQL employee. Now here it is asking the value of the table name. 
so if we can go here in the downside so everything is okay but we are required to pass the value for the table name once we click on this open then here it is asking for the values under this linkage service that is the server name database name user id password and the table name so these five values it is asking from the pipeline level so in the pipeline level we are required to create five parameter so we can click outside this copy data activity let me click on new so the first parameter will be the server name second parameter will be the database and these parameters we are creating on the pipeline level third will be the user id fourth will be the password fifth will be the table name so these five parameter we have created on the pipeline level so first thing you have to remember like these five parameter or the four parameters for the linkage service we cannot pass directly to the link service that parameter should go through the data set so on the data set level again we have to create all these so let me click on that copy data and here on the sync data set so in under the sync data set we can see this table name so here we can directly add the table name this one and click on ok but while we are going to jump inside the linkage service so under the linkage service if we can go and try to search so under this we can see the parameter those are available only inside the data set so in the linkage service if we want to utilize the parameter that we had created on the pipeline level so first we have to create those under the data set level and that data set level we can move into the linkage service so simply we can understand we have to create the parameter under the data set level so here we can see all these so let me click on open again so we have to go on this data set here we can see the parameter so let me add four parameters so first here for the server name next is the database name next is the user id and last is the password so these we have created now go back to the connection again and under this we can see this linkage service so we want to pass the value so we can pass it from here from the data set then the database name then the user id and password so everything we have set up on the linkage service and data set level so it is saying error okay leave that for now and go back to here now it is asking how we can pass the values under the data set level so we can pass the values from the pipeline so we can select like server name then the database name then the user id and the password now let me try to publish it so sync must be binary when source is binary data set so this is saying if your source is the binary then your sync should be the binary create a new one and this time search for the blob storage this is my mistake here we have to select this delimited text and go to the linkage service here we can see the emp data and let me click on this under the ssu we have this file click on open click on ok so we have created this at the source and at the sync we have done each and everything let me try to publish it again click on publish 
so it is publishing now that was my mistake where we had created the source with the binary so it is succeed now we want to execute this so trigger it now so it is asking the server name database name every values here so what we have to specify let me let me pass all those values so for the data base that is ssu dev user id that is the pvi then the password that is we can add here then the table name table name is the employee now click on ok so while it is executing it will be loading the data under the ssu dev environment so click on ok it is running so we can wait go to the monitor it got succeed as you can see so let me go inside the sql server and go on the dev one so this is the dev let me try to refresh it so this should have the data so as we can see data is successfully loaded in the dev environment now let me go in the pipeline and we'll try to execute the pipeline again and this time i want to load the data into the prod environment so trigger now so everything we have to pass it here so the database that is ssu prod this time and the user id then the password then the table name in the real time you might have employee underscore prod table so let me click on ok again so it is running let me check the execution so it is in progress so here we can see it got executed successfully now let me go and check under the prod so it should have the data as well so as you can see it has the data the same thing that we can test with the uat environment as well so the first thing that you have to remember like we have to create the parameters all the parameters those are going to use either in the link service or in the data set level so those should be created under the pipeline level then whatever the parameters that we are going to use under the data set level or under the linkage service all should be created under the data set level then under the linkage services we are going to map the parameters those we have created in the data set level and what parameters that we have created on the data set level will be mapped with the pipeline level so this is three step process so if you are not clear then you can watch this video again and still if you have any doubt then you can then you can comment your question in the comment box so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video